What is up, guys? Welcome back to Pokemon News Daily for Tuesday, August 30th, 2019. I'm your host, Daddy Gamer Fred, bringing you a daily news show where we go over all the Pokemon news for today, from official news to the leaks to the rumors, spamming across all medias of Pokemon, from the games to the movies to the anime. So if you want to be kept in the loop with the latest news, make sure you are subscribed right now with those notifications turned on. If you like today's video, be sure to leave a like down below. Also, be sure to leave a comment as well, as I do take time out of my day to reply to all comments that's on all of my videos so let me know your thoughts on today's topics but without no further ado let's jump right into the news so not a lot of news from the pokemon community today but we do got fewer smaller topics to go over so let's jump right into it first things first is nintendo's financial release dropped today and it came with various sales data for pokemon games spamming across the nintendo's 3ds to the nintendo switch game consoles as of June 30th, 2019, the Pokemon game sales data are as follows. This news is coming, well, this sales data is coming from Serving.net, the numbers, but um, you can also get the number on the Pokemon press release where they release all the information, including sales for games like Super Mario Odyssey and Super Mario Kart and stuff like that. And if you want, if you are interested, I'm gonna have that linked in the description as well, just in case you wanna check it out. But jumping into the Pokemon sales data. Pokemon X and Y has sold, as of June 30th, 2019, like I said, 16.41 million copies. That is crazy. Obviously, the game has been out for more than three, four years now, but that is still an amazing feat. 16.41 million. It's the highest selling Pokemon game that we're going to be talking about today, which again is pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty good. X and Y set the bar up really, really high. Behind it is Pokemon Omega Ruby in the Pokemon Alpha Sapphire with 14.21 million. Obviously, with it being a remake of the third generation, it didn't peak as high as X and Y has, but for a remake, it's, it's definitely pretty good. Pokemon Sun and Moon is just as high as Pokemon X and Y, just a little bit behind at 16.16 .16 million copies sold. Now, I think it's a little bit behind of X and Y because X and Y was the first game on the Nintendo 3DS, the first Pokemon main series game on the Nintendo 3DS. Sun and Moon was like the flagship Pokemon game that was leaving during the like we knew about the switch at the time I believe at least we were there was rumors out at the time Pokemon Sun and Moon had dropped so we knew Nintendo was working on like this hybrid console people were gearing up towards it but still 16.16 .16 million is definitely great for Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon Slow, definitely big decline at 8.47 million. The, the biggest drop ever for a Pokemon game. But do note that this is not even in the remake category. This is kind of like a enhanced version, I would like to say. Because come on, let's be obvious. Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon with that title alone kind of doesn't scream sequel. It doesn't scream, you know, remake. It, it, it feels just like, again, it felt just like an extra polish of everything that they wanted to throw in the original base game just, you know, polished up and they threw Mantine Surf so we could surf. <laughs> To the big meat and potatoes, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, probably why you clicked this video, has sold 10.98 million copies. Now, to me, that's incredible, considering that this is a remake on Pokemon Yellow, which is a 20-year-old game at the time, which already have seen remakes, so it's not like the community was cramming for a fucking Pokemon Gen 1 remake. To be honest, there was a lot of backlash because it was a Gen 1 remake, and of course it integrating pokemon go features and being targeted towards the new pokemon community where people wanted an easier playthrough of the game this was that this was definitely that this was not towards us main competitive pokemon core rpg fans and it shows because it didn't spike as high as something like Pokemon X and Y, even though Pokemon X and Y has been on the market for a long time comparative to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. And to be honest, I think 
unless we see another let's go game very soon this might come close come close to topping at least something like omega ruby at the sapphire because hey this only has been selling they only been selling let's go pikachu and let's go eevee for under a year now it hasn't hit one year old so the fact that it's already at 10 million four shy of the omega ruby and Affire, sapphire number to me, it's amazing. That means this is great. Obviously, in their eyes, they dropped the Pokemon name on something and it sold 10 million copies. They're not waking up crying at night. You know what I'm saying? So that's pretty cool for the Pokemon company. I just wanted to like kind of congratulate them on that feat because that is a huge number. They're about to hit 11 million. You know what I'm saying? So that is pretty cool. Let me know your thoughts on the sales topics in the comment section below. I do think, again, the Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go EV number of 10 million, well, 10.98 million, it's, it's, it's incredible. To, considering what that game was, you know what I'm saying? We all know it was like, I don't want to say side game or spinoff, but it wasn't, you know, a core RPG. And even though it was a mainline game because it was a remake of the, po you know, Pokemon Yellow, so, which was a mainline game, so. Now, after the sales data report, there's not too much other news that dropped. There is a little bit of Pokemon anime news, so let's jump into that. This, again, is coming from Cerebi.net, and basically, a Japanese TV guide has revealed the next episodes for the Pokemon Sun and Moon anime. These episodes are due to air on August 12th and August 19th, obviously in Japan, but these titles have been translated, and the title Titles names are and obviously they may be changed due to the fact that this was in again a TV guide and if the names are too long or too short they probably use an acronym or stuff like that for the names and episode 1077 is called the road to the semifinals and episode 1078 are the semifinals I'm probably gonna say these names wrong Quali versus Galleon sounds like a match, which means that we're going to get more Pokemon fighting, which I, to me, that's the best episodes. The best episode is when we get a straight up, this character is fighting this character in the anime. So that the fact that we're getting that is pretty cool. And especially with them gearing up to the Pokemon League, I think they are right now in the Sun and Moon anime is pretty cool. Like I said, it's not that much news on today's episode so let me know your thoughts on the topics that we went over today now that's gonna be it for pokemon news daily today let me know your thoughts on everything that we went over peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one like always guys i'm daddy gamer fred on instagram and twitter and you guys can bring the conversation there i'm the american gamer in switzerland right here on youtube and yes i'm gonna be doing a ton of videos just like this one so if you enjoy please hit that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time i drop a video peace i'm gonna see you guys on the next one